Well, hello everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make music and sound effects inside the Kiddo Game Engine. The two nodes we're gonna be using here are the Audio Stream 2D and the Audio Stream 3D node. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, in a new scene, select this plus icon here or press Ctrl A to add a child. In the search bar here, search for audio stream to denote. In the inspector here, you can see the properties menu where you can add the stream here. Select the audio and put it in the stream tab. Now your audio has been added. You can click the playing button to test the audio. And nice, it works. The key difference between sound effect and background music is that background music loops and sound effect is played once. If you want to loop your music, here's how to do it. Go to the file inspector, select the music that you want to loop or not loop, go to the import tab here, and here in the loop mode you can see a bunch of options. I've set it to def def <laughs> disable, but this one I actually want it to loop. So I'll same go to the import tab and here in the, in the loop mode I'll set it to detect from wave. So whether it will loop or not depends on your file. Remember to hit the re-import button down here after making any changes. Okay, that's it. Now let's discover some other properties here. Right now we can hit this playing button here to make it play. Here first of all we have the volume tab here. I made the volume a little higher because my PC's volume is a little down but the normal volume will work for you and uh, you can just play around with the volume to suit your needs make sure you add an option for the volume because some people prefer less volume and some people prefer more volume next up we have the pitch scale uh, it's a really cool thing to play around with you can change it up and down basically if you increase it the sound will become more shrill and more thin and if you decrease it, the sound will become more thick. That's the main theme here. And so you can just play around with it. Some music can get, become good and some can become bad. Uh, this option here is autoplay. Uh, for background music, for example, if you want it to play as soon as the game starts, you should hit this button. <laughs> okay, uh, here we have stream paused. Uh, it's a boolean. You can change it in code as well. It basically tells the code that if the volume is paused or not. If you click this, the volume will be paused. I don't think the, a beginner should mess around with all other of these settings too much. Uh, the area mask is a little interesting take. I might make a separate video about it, but for now it's right. Now, an interesting one here is this bus one. Uh, you can go to this audio tab and create a new bus. Uh, a bus is like a bus. So <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, it's like a group of audio. Uh, every audio stream node you create, you can assign it a bus. For example, here you can call audio server dot change bus volume, <laughs> get set bus volume here, and then you can give it the ID of the bus for example if the bus like the order of the bus if there's the bus 0 that means it's calling the first bus and like that and you can just give it the the ID of the bus and the volume you want it to change to uh, in decibels of course uh, there's a cool function here called linear to decibel uh, it's pretty cool it just changes linear numbers to decibels in case you want to add some sliders or other things like that uh, all in all it's quite useful in my opinion for creating volume sliders like uh, this is the thing i really love about kiddo there's literally everything you need like creating volume sliders in some other engines can be a little tricky but in kiddo oh, come on man these are easy you can check out other options here as well and uh, now let's discuss some other methods uh, I mean functions that exist inside this node here first of all we 
get a reference to it. Um, I really recommend getting a reference and store it, it to a variable instead of like making this direct reference. Uh, like I can just name anything it I want. I call this and hit dot. Uh, first of all, you can call play. It's pretty self-explanatory. It just plays and stop. It stops the playing sound effect. You can call this while doing some other action like in result to input and stuff. And there's a cool one here. Uh, it's called the get playback position. Uh, essentially what it does is tells you how much of the audio has been played and then you can just just store it inside a variable and you can check for like uh, if that too much of that played then do that like if seven seconds have been played do that and that kind of stuff it returns in seconds and it's pretty useful in my opinion you can scroll through uh, by hitting this dot here and check all of these options here the last thing to talk about here are the signals the node offers only one signal called finished it emits when the certain sound has been played and also you can do is call await so you can like wait for it you call await and finished you can write finished here so it will wait for the animation to finish before doing the other code so you can like write playing print something here i can like print something for and another thing like i can play the death music first and then i can like call die so things like that it's pretty cool all in all so that's it for today's video if you want me to support you i can support you on patreon link in the description so till then goodbye oh wait what the fuck did i just say